Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, a quick MD Minute that was just released from the Federal Drug Administration. Um, it's from their Centers for Devices and Radiological Health. It was also simultaneously published in one of their journals called Heart Rhythm. And I'm doing this really as a public service announcement. So this is for anybody who has a pacemaker or who has an automatic defibrillator uh, inserted in their body. Pacemakers, as we get older, sometimes the wiring of the heart isn't very good and the heart doesn't work properly. The rhythm is abnormal. So we'll put in a pacemaker to give the heart its normal rhythm. It tells the heart when to beat. It's a pacemaker. They're put over here and millions of people get them all the time. There's a second thing that's important to know. It's called an automatic defibrillator. There are certain heart rhythms that are very, very dangerous because the heart basically isn't pumping properly. Um, you've all seen in Grey's Anatomy me where they go into an abnormal heart rhythm, they shock you. Well, modern technology has a implantable cardiac defibrillator, which actually gives the heart a shock. So you'll get a shock if the sensor senses you've gone into an abnormal heart rhythm. So you have pacemakers and you have automatic defibrillators. And this is really good because it saves lives and it's great medicine. For years, people have known that Strong electromagnetic fields like a stereo at home or the motor in a power tool will put your pacemaker or your automatic defibrillator into a special mode called magnet mode. Now, this is a mode that we will often, if you, for example, you need to get an MRI of your brain and you have a pacemaker or you have a defibrillator, we can switch that off by putting it into magnet mode. It turns out that not just doctors and people in the, in the hospital, when we want to switch off the pacemaker, we can also, apparently, it can be switched off automatically with these large electromagnetic currents. And that's not good because it means your pacemaker won't work. It means that if you have this abnormal heart rhythm, you won't get a shock and it could be really fatal. So the FDA looked at a very interesting thing. Modern technology, including iPhones have magnets in them. These common, these are rather rare metals are magnetic. And the question they did, they asked was, does this put your pacemaker or your automatic defibrillator into magnet mode? So they tested the iPhones and they tested the smart watches and the Apple watches. And what they found, and this is the takeaway, is that there is actual the potential, there's so much electromagnetic radiation from these phones and these Apple watches that if you are six inches away from your defibrillator or from your pacemaker with these watches that can actually switch them into magnet road and they won't work properly. So my take on this is that this is a disaster. I'm putting it into my top pocket on my left because that's where my pocket is. That is the worst place to carry a smartwatch if you have a defibrillator or you have a pacemaker. So please disseminate this to anybody you know, grandpa, grandma, whoever it is, whoever's got one, they need to put their smartwatch not by their chest pocket, six feet away. Dr. Joe Foy, I'm with the MD Minute. Thank you.